action portion of tonight's meeting. Um, I'm Matt Murphy, the Director of Public Works in the city. I'm going to just kind of go around the table up here. Scott, if you want to again start. Scott Weasel, Home Utilities. Pete Hoff from Home Utilities. Matt Steffen, Cedar Corporation. Kevin Moore, Project Manager for Peters Concrete Company. We're the general contractor for the Third Street Project. I mentioned myself. Brian Trzynski with Robert Lee and Associates, Project Manager for the design. Uh, Perry Bonet, Robert Lee and Associates. I'll be the on-site inspector for the project. Well, with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Kevin and kind of let him kick it off with a couple of dates and go from there. So go ahead, Kevin. Okay, so um, the Third Street project, we are uh, anticipating starting the project between May 16th and May 23rd. Um, the project, uh, if, if you're not familiar with the project on Third Street, the project extends from Clark Street north to Navarino. Um, it's at the intersection where the fire station is. Uh, there will be underground utilities. We're re as part of this project, we're replacing the water main. A uh, good portion of the sanitary sewer and some storm sewer improvements. Uh, as far as the underground, the street, uh, the street reconstruction is a complete street reconstruction. New sidewalk, new curb and gutter, new asphalt from the same limits, Clark Street north to Navarino Street. Uh, Ryan with Robert Lee does have uh, uh, the plan, the project plan on the screen. If you would want to refer to that or need to refer to it. Um, but uh, just to explain a little bit on the construction activities that'll take place, um, we are going to be working. Uh, we had a, a pre-construction meeting before the public information meeting, and we are going to construct the project to some degree in halves. And the reason why we're doing that is um, we we don't want to disturb the entire project uh, throughout the entire. Uh, start to finish of the project so we're more than likely going to focus on this what i'm going to call the south half of the project from steel street to clark street get all the underground utilities installed and uh in the street reconstruction to a point of a of a gravel surface um, before we move we'll get that complete before we move to the north portion of the project from steel street north to navarino which it'll be a just a a, a mirror uh, of the type of construction with the sewer and water and, and street reconstruction um, the second half of the job the uh, the street surfaces the curb and gutter the sidewalk and the asphalt that will take place all at one time because of the it's not a very large project from a um, from a concrete and asphalt standpoint so when those contractors come in they will uh, they will install the curb and gutter sidewalk and the asphalt uh, throughout the entire limits of the of the project so that's a, that's an overview of um, our approach what we're going to be doing um, if there's any questions on any of that please ask or we can talk about other things that you may have questions and or concerns about somebody has to be the first, be the first. one second here and Aaron will give you the <coughs> microphone just so everybody does know this is being recorded it's not live but the city will be showing this on their public access channel i don't want to shy anybody yes. away <clears throat> feel free to ask questions all right my business is on the corner of steel and third um, it is a flower shop and gallery my third street entrance and back is where i do all of my deliveries is there going to be a time i won't be able to use that third street entrance uh third uh yes uh, the gen unfortunately, the general answer is yes. You will be limited, um, probably at many times throughout the project. So, uh, and the and the reason is there's a lot of underground utilities near your driveway or near your, ent your entrance off mm -hmm. of Third Street. When we're working there, or primarily doing un installing the underground utilities, you will have no access to that point. Okay. Similar with the road reconstruction, when um, when we are physically working in that area, you won't have any access. Now, in saying that, as any other business or any any uh, resident that may be on the street, I think it's primarily businesses. We will work with you the best we can as far as timing. Talk with you on when we think we're going to have you shut out of your driveway for deliveries or any type of access you might need. 
Um, well, my only concern is if I would have a large funeral or if I would have a wedding. So I can just park my vehicle in front of the building on Steel Street the night before. Um, I just kind of wanted to know if, too, I could have cones from the city or something to kind of reserve that spot for me from a delivery standpoint. You know, I don't want to walk a casket spray down to the um, public parking and that process, which it doesn't happen every day. Um, and, and it's workable as far as that goes. But if I could get some assistance with that, especially with some of those larger events, which weddings I would assume wouldn't be a problem because that would be on a Saturday and you wouldn't be working then. I mean, would you shut that down if I couldn't use that access over the weekend? Yes, we will. Uh, there are always unforeseen circumstances or conditions, but we will try to get all the businesses in for deliveries and that type thing on the weekends for sure. Okay. We're gonna try to get you in every day. That's not a guarantee. On and the then weekends. the other thing is when I get deliveries <clears throat> from flower trucks and green plant trucks, they always park on Third Street. So will I know a day ahead that if they can use that or should they get, cause you know, they're coming in with semis, so. Sure. The best yeah. would probably be to have them start to use, once they get started on that portion, mm -hmm. to use Steel Street for your deliveries. Well, when they stop, they're parked, and I don't know about traffic getting around them. That's why we've always used 3rd Street. They're, they're not but it going is what to it is. be able to use 3rd Street when there's an excavator and a bulldozer, right. though, sitting on 3rd Street. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that, that's what I mean. I, I, we, we try to work with all the businesses the best mm -hmm. we can, but there's no way we can guarantee that you're going to have access at all times. I mean, it, there's just... With the work involved and, and, and really the safety aspect of this kind of work, we, we can't guarantee that you're going to have access all the time. We'll do our best to work with okay. you, but plan, I know pla it is planning, what it is. planning on, C on Steel Street for your deliveries um, uh, would be, the, would be the be your best plan. Okay. Uh, but we'll, we will help you out as much as we can. And that really goes for any business. business. It, you know, that, that's one thing I, I try to emphasize at a, at a meeting like this. I understand everybody's got a business and, and uh, you, you know, you don't want your business interfered by this type of, of work. Um, but it's not always easy at all. And, mm -hmm. it, and there is an inconvenience. And it, 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 believe me, it's gonna get frustrating at, at times as a business owner. Uh, or even your customers trying to get to your business. We will work with everybody. We're just, we ask for your patience. And um, the, the more the public and businesses can avoid Third Street on a project like this, the quicker we're gonna be able to get through it and get our work completed. Okay. The more obstacles we have trying to get vehicles moved, having to call the Algoma Police Department because there's cars parked on Third Street and we, we can't conduct our business, that just slows us down. Um, so the more people can av avoid using Third Street as much as possible, the quicker we're going to be able to get our work done. Okay. My next question. I've got a few. Sure. Um, on Third Street on the sidewalk, I've got large urns and also a planted water trough. <clears throat> they are not something that can just be picked up and moved. Um, I would need a forklift. Is that something that the crew would be able to assist me with to put it on the other side of the building? or do I need to find someone to move them? I would find someone to move them. Okay. Um, two things, timing and, and liability. We have to be careful uh, from a liability standpoint of what we do with private property or even, mm -hmm. even coming in contact with private property. Okay. Our insurance man would pretty very, be very disappointed with me if I was moving a citizens Those or urns businesses are from my mother and urns. she's in heaven so we must be careful there you go so then that with the urns now my entrance um i have a quarter building so i actually have two entrances on steel street but the flower shop entrance is right on the corner mm -hmm. how much am i going to even be able to use that entryway or should i start directing people to the other one because it's like right in the middle and then do Judgment i need to right move those corner. urns there too yeah but that that sidewalk Ryan, where did you go? You're not here. Um, he knew we were you, gonna ask him, so he left. That <laughs> sidewalk is remove and replace on that corner, correct? Yes, that whole radius return that, that comes is all, out of there. Right. So, um, at some point, not immediately, that side your access is gonna be very limited there. Okay. We have to pull the old sidewalk out, 
and install the new sidewalk. But there's a there's a gap, there's a timing gap there. Because once we pull the old sidewalk out, we do that during the grading and graveling process. Then it will be graveled. We can provide you gravel, a gravel surface to get into your side entrance. I'm not too concerned because again, it's two store locations, but okay. it's one. I own the whole thing. Got it. So I've got a secondary, but the big thing would be I should probably, the urns that are in front there, have those moved at the same time. Yes, anything within the construction limits. I don't, uh, I was on the job today. I can't remember the urns you're referring to or the planters or whatever. Um, but anything that's within the construction limits, certainly get, get it, please get them moved. Okay. At least by May 16th. It's after Mother's Day. Okay. My final question is, um, I've had challenges with my downspout um, in borderline seasons that it ices over on the sidewalk. Would I be able to coordinate to have that put into the storm sewer? Is it, it's not currently into the storm no. sewer? So you would, <clears throat> at that time, we could coordinate that, but it, that would be on you to have right. that tap put in. Right, and I understand that part. So, um, and I already made a call to my um, plumber. So do I just wait until it gets, how, how do I start coordinating that? Well, the storm will be the last part of the project. So once they start with the underground utilities, they'll run the water in first then the sanitary sewer, and then the storm sewer. So when they start on this end of the south end of the project, they at that time then I would start to coordinate of about when you're gonna be putting in the sanitary. And But I think maybe what you're asking is, who's gonna do the work or how do you coordinate the work? Is that really your right. question? You know, I, I think if you if she comes to terms with the city, we would bring that lateral out to the right of way. Correct. correct. We would that install correct. the storm lateral okay. to the right of way, or in We'd this case, up to tap in up to the building, right, Ryan, in this yes. situation. And then I'll just have a little IOU. <laughs> With the city uh, or IOU, yes. Yes. We'll be having a conversation about the IOU too. All right. <laughs> so we I would- I trade with flowers too, you know. Yeah, we would run the storm lateral and up to your building okay. or whatever location works. Awesome. Okay. That's my last question. Perfect. Oh, one more back here. Did she give you a list of questions so she didn't have to ask so many? <laughs> no, she did not give me a list to, to add on to hers. Uh, so for those who don't know me, I am one of the owners of the Richmond building uh, directly across Steel Street from her building. Um, so we're just all kind of a pain in your sides tonight. Um, so when we're talking about storm sewers and public utilities being redone, um, I'm assuming there will be interruptions to those services to our buildings. No. No? Not on very, very. Not on yours at all because if, if you want to come up here, Ryan, yeah. and I, I apologize because of the way the TV is, but where your utilities come in off of Steel Street, there actually is no underground work being done there, so you will have no in uh, no inconvenience of water or sanitary sewer. Okay, so, so all our ours come where, off. Where Steel you see Street? the highlighted red or uh, green, red, and is there a yellow line on there? <coughs> no. No. no, just the green and the red because okay, so the water is not being shown on there, but there is no underground infrastructure on Steel Street. Okay. Perfect. Um, but your Third Street entrances will have. You do enter from Third Street. Also. Yep. Yep. So we that was going to be my next question. So with Which Third really Street being shut right down, right is this going to impact the two water. public yeah, parking lots? Here, you know. Obviously, to some degree, He's got a um, that our building oh, residents utilize for daytime parking. Mm -hmm. Since the street from you, that <coughs> so over by the fire station, you may have, have to use the entry from the at times at the, the first back half side of the, the fire street. station. Yep. Okay. Through the alley. Through the alley. Okay, but, and and that's fine as long as we can yep. let our so, uh, yep. tenants know that. Yep. So and and I'm just uh, I want to correct myself, Pete. Is his water on steel or does he come off? His water's on steel. His water's, his water's, on, water's steel. on steel. Yep, right next to the hydrant. Oh, okay. okay. There's another box showing though at that coming into that building. Is there two of them coming into that building? Is no. There, no. Are you looking at 305? It'd be the northwest corner of Steel and Third. 
Northwest is here. His curb stop is right on the match line. Are we talking a different building? The, the Richmond Center. Center. Is that here? Here. 305 Steel Street. Here. Yes. Kevin. This is the Northwest Corner. But it also here's does have Steel another address. Right okay. here. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, the flower uh, shop here. Yeah, yeah. There, there's okay. another sorry, address. It's known by here. on third. Yeah, I see North and I don't know. And this is <laughs> oriented <laughs> north as up here. So I got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's talking in this building here. Perfect. So Steel Street won't be involved. Okay. Um, and then on our third street side, the commercial entrance door. Um, that would be the furthest one to the south of the building. Um, that one has right now a driveway type entrance going up towards that doorway. <coughs> Is that going to get changed into regular curb and gutter there, Matt? Do you know or? What is that just go to, I mean, is there an ADA reason that's there? I or don't is know. It, Maybe Virginia has some background on this one. <laughs> well, we have the new owner and the old owner here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, when we bought the building, it was a car repair, and actually that was the entrance. They were, where it's all stucco right now was a big garage door, and that's where everybody entered the building. Okay. So would you prefer to have just block curb put back there? If we did just a regular ADA apron? Well, there will be one in the intersection, but I can't yeah. put one mid-block. Okay, you can't put one mid-block? No, it would, it would either be block curb or we'd have to stay back with the mountable curb. Okay. But if there's no reason for it, I guess I would rather the ADA be yeah. in the intersection sure. and put block curb back. Sure. Then I would say you, put regular You okay back. with that? Yeah. Um, because that that does have quite a bit of slope on it. So in winter, pretty steep. Yeah, um, if there's any sort of ice there, which before we get there to even throw salt out, it ponds there. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. I think that's answered all my questions. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dick Swanson again. I don't think that's on, Aaron. Excuse me. Dick. Yes. Hello. Okay. okay, I'm good now. Um, just about the project being split, I'll, I'll say it again. With the car show coming up in June, with Shanty Days coming up, this is a project that I think we should do the south side first. And that would allow us a little extra time for Shanty Days and not bump into their schedule. That's a lot of people coming in here. So if we have a choice, I would like to do the south side first and then move north. Other than that, I think we answered a lot of questions. Homeowners are going to have a chance to hook up. Businesses will have a chance to hook up if they want. Um, I think the project is looking good. Thank you. Does anybody else have any questions? Just to clarify that homeowners and businesses, um, to hook to the laterals that the utilities or the, the sewer or water supplies, um, that would be at, at the homeowners or the businesses cost. I just want to clarify that so it's known. So my going in and sewer, I'm going to be... Yours is pretty new. At, last yes. eight years or so I think yeah. about the, the water line yeah. yeah so you'll be fine we, we, they'll just attach to that <laughs> that new but new. then the sewer if that's replaced then that's my responsibility from basically we'll bring it into the right away so from the main we'll bring your lateral into the right away and from the right away of the city which I think your building is almost going to be right up to your building but from there, to replace anything from there would be on the property owner or yourself to replace from that point to the inside of your property. Okay. Now, will there be disruptions like what Brian had said? Because my water does come in on 3rd Street. Will I have some disruptions at all? You will have, and I'll let Pete and Scott talk to that, but in the tie over, you will have a short period. Kevin might be better to, to speak on it. I, I'm not familiar with what your tie-in procedure yeah, is. So, so the answer is yes. You will have uh, 
you will have some outage with with your water service at two different times. Um, when we install the new water main, we have to go through a testing process. Once it's tested and safe, meaning the water is, is safe to hook up, we'll, we'll be hooking up to your existing water line, okay? So for a period of maybe an hour during that hookup process, <coughs> you'll be out of water. Oh, so it's only an hour? It's only an hour. It wouldn't be like all day long, you know, when yeah. I'm filling bases and watering plants. Well, I'm not finished yet. Oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You you will then be out a second time, and basically everyone on your block will be out at the same time when we make the final com connection of the new water main to the existing water main. We call it a final tie-in. You will be out at that time, potentially for a couple couple three hours. So I would, you know, just assume you will be out twice, two different periods. Maybe for an hour the first time, two to three hours the second time. For for everybody that this is going to happen to, you will get notification. I mean, we're not just going to turn you off. You'll be notified. Oh, I'll come flying out my door. Right. Yeah, we don't. We'll get, we'll give you the heads up. We don't want you to be in the shower and your water goes off. It's not what we do. So we'll we'll let you know when uh, when on it's going to happen. Tuesday, you'll get, tomorrow we'll be shutting the water off at approximately from this time to this time. Okay. You will be notified. Right. Actually, I have another question. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> How will the rules? I know. Um, will there be any, you know, going underground with power lines seems to be quite a common uh, thing now. Is that been thought of as part of this project? or? Your power is down the alley? Correct. Alleyway, so that's going to stay the same. Okay. I didn't know if the city was looking to start moving towards underground. Not in that area. Okay. The, the city is, the utilities <laughs> is. <it. laughs> okay. That's all. Thank you. Does anything, anybody have anything else? All right, with that being said, if there's no further questions, um, we're welcome to adjourn. So thank you everybody for coming, I appreciate it. Um, my number is posted online if anybody has any further questions coming down the, uh, down the road. If it's a utility question, we'll get you in, in uh, touch with Pete over at the utilities. But thanks again.